Today we're in my bathroom. I'm going to show you how to heal your gums and eliminate sugar cravings all together using two simple ingredients. and I teach holistic solutions for mind, body, spirit. Let's get started. So the tools you'll need for this are hydrogen peroxide. This is just a standard. This is a grocery brand, hydrogen peroxide. So it's not even a fancy brand, hydrogen peroxide. It is literally uh, an antiseptic and it's an oral uh, stringent. So it even says right on the packaging, you can use it as a, as a mouthwash. And today we're going to mix it with baking soda. Baking soda is a nice abrasive agent. It will heal and neutralize your gums. And by adding these two together, they're gonna to make sort of a, a foaming uh, mouth astringent that you can go ahead and clean your gums with and literally kill the particulates, the critters that live in your gums, the microscopic organisms that live in your mouth that literally poop in your bloodstream and make you crave sugar. Not even kidding. You can do more research on it if you'd like. It's actually quite disgusting, but it is so true. Once you do this, you'll notice an immediate difference in your sugar cravings and in the way your mouth feels. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna basically take your toothbrush, a spoon and a cup. I'm using a glass today so you can see what's happening. And I am almost out of baking soda. So I'm just gonna use the last bit of this. Typically, I will use about um, a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna use whatever's left in here right now. This is gonna be, all right, looking at it, it's roughly, I have about a tablespoon of baking soda in the bottom of this glass. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use just a cap full. So these are not fancy measurements you can see. So just a cap, the actual cap to the baking soda, just gonna use a cap full. And I just spilled a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> and I'm literally going to just pour it in, whoosh, and you'll see it sort of foam up a little bit and become kind of, it'll dissolve in the water, the, the baking soda will dissolve in the hydrogen peroxide. And now I have sort of a, a really translucent milky substance. So that's what we're using today. Now, I'm gonna do this so that you can see what's happening. So I'm gonna do it over a towel. You're literally going to just put your toothbrush into the substance and just kind of soak your toothbrush. Now, if you, after doing this once or twice, if you find you like more baking soda, Typically, I like a little bit more baking soda because I like to literally pack it on, kind of cake it on and let it sit there for a minute. So I'm just gonna put this on and you'll see. Mm. <laughs> and <laughs> now you'll notice mine doesn't hurt much because I do this about once a month, but I have had a lot of sugar cravings, so I realize I should be doing this. You'll notice it can kind of foam, and then I do have a couple little spots that are starting to kind of feel a little, like a little pinch, just for a little bit, and then the gums will turn white there. Notice, see? And then a little spot up here. <laughs> Notice the white. See these little white spots? So that, the gums are now uh, getting a little bit inflamed Again, because it's not painful, it's more of a, like a little poke, like a little needle poke. And then it starts to sort of numb a little bit. And then the white spots. Are where the gums were needed the most healing. So the gums themselves are swelling just a titch to flood, to rush blood flow 
to the area and that circulation is actually going to heal your gums. Now, uh, once you do this, I would say don't eat or drink anything for about 30 minutes and your gums will come back to normal. They might be sensitive for the rest of the day. So just kind of be aware of that. And uh, again, try not to, uh, do, you don't want to drink any of this. This is not something you want to really swallow. And then once you've done everything, you can go ahead and rinse like normal. You can brush your teeth afterwards or you can brush your teeth before, whatever you prefer. And you're good to go. I'll show you in a minute that my gums go back to normal. So you can see that my gums are already going back to normal. And it's been about six minutes. Now this will naturally whiten your teeth because it's cleaning, it's really scrubbing everything off your teeth. You might be sensitive that evening during dinner and you might be sensitive by the next day, but after about 24 hours, you should feel nothing from this. So this is a quick, uh, quick scrub that you're doing. Make sure you get the front of your mouth and the back of your gums as well. Make sure you're really scrubbing your teeth to get all of those, all the gunk and all the, the um, plaque and bacteria to scrub it all. And then afterwards, uh, you can have like a nice soothing tea if you like, something like mint um, or whatnot is really, really nice in the mouth afterwards. But, uh, but basically, so after seven minutes, see my gums are totally, they're a little bit red but otherwise they are back to normal, so no more white. So you could technically do this in the morning before work, maybe have a very light lunch around noon, and then uh, by dinner time your gums should feel totally normal. If you did have a lot of extreme sensitivity, you'll probably wanna have a light dinner, and then by the next morning you should be fine. So again, this is healing your gums to get rid of all of the critters that live in your mouth so that it can be a nice neutral space and you will no longer crave sugar like you used to. This works wonders for me. Again, I do this about once a quarter, and then again, normal brushing, flossing, rinsing, all of that still takes place. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one.